There is a new candidate in the presidential race. Evan McMullen says it's never too late to do the right thing. He says he is an option the American people can vote for instead of voting against Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, though he seems particularly irked at the entire notion of Donald Trump. He called him inhuman to me last night. Joining us now to discuss is Republican strategist Rick Wilson. He's an advisor to the McMullen campaign. Rick, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me. On very little sleep for the next oh, three you know. months, it seems. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep much anyway. <laughs> give us some give us some numbers. Give us the stats where things stand today. How well, much money you got in the bank? How many states you're on the ballot? We are we are raising money at a at a at a roaring clip. We are adding followers. We're adding folks to our email list. We have we added over fifty thousand people to our email list since last night at six o'clock. We have got people pouring out of the woodwork from all over this country, volunteering, asking to get involved, asking how they can help, asking how they can work at our state level organizations. We right now have an aggressive ballot acquisition process going on. We're going to push to be on the ballot as widely as possible. There are a lot of states where the deadline may have passed, but there are legal venues for us to get on those ballots still in terms of either appealing those things, being on a third party line, being on a certain independent line, certain legal recourse. So we've got an extraordinarily aggressive program. I'm not a ballot attorney, but we have hired all the best ones, and they are out there kicking butt right now to get us on the ballot as widely as possible. But you know it's daunting, right? It, of course it's daunting. We're not making this up that no, a lot no, of the and, deadlines and you know have passed. And, and, if and it were easy, someone would have done it before instead of having never really done this before. And one of the reasons when, when they came to me and said, would you like to meet with Evan and talk to this guy, he understood this from the beginning. He knew this was a challenge from the beginning, but he also knew we're at a point right now in our country where the voters are absolutely sick and tired of both of these candidates from the major parties right now, and the Republican candidate they view as crazy, and the Democratic candidate they view as, as challenge, ethically challenged and corrupt, and, they're, and, and folks in the middle of this country have no one to talk to, no one to be proud of, and no one they can go and say, you know, this is somebody I can wake up on a, the day after Election Day and say, I voted for that guy and I did the right thing. Well, on Donald Trump, you wrote a scathing piece about Donald Trump over the weekend. That I both, tend to. Both, yes, you do. You do not hold back on your opinions. Um, here's part of it. <clears throat> you want him annihilated, to say the least. You wrote this. We need to ensure that he is on the business end of a decisive, humiliating defeat so that the terribly divisive forces he has unleashed are delivered a death blow. So, Rick, from your view, is McMullen's campaign, is his candidacy more about eviscerating Trump, or is it about be winning. Evans' campaign is about winning. Evans' campaign is about offering America something different than what they've got right now. I wrote that piece before I became involved in the campaign, but I still completely agree with everything I wrote, obviously. But this is a guy who has been so destructive in this country. And frankly, if you're a Republican right now, Donald Trump is doing a great job of losing to Hillary Clinton without Evan in the field. He was doing a great job of driving his campaign into the ditch every single day. There's never a day, you know, every, every promised Trump pivot turns into a pratfall. Every time they say he's about to improve as a candidate, he, he does something can else I, crazy. Can yeah, I sure. About Utah, the campaign is going to be course. based in Utah. There's a lot of focus on Utah. Sure. For one reason, the ballot access there is fairly easy. For another reason, Evan is a Mormon, maybe mm -hmm. better known in Utah. He grew up there. For another reason, Utah is a state where Trump might be underperforming. Well, he's underperforming in the entire Mountain West, but yes. But Utah in particular. Sure. If all you do, if all you do is keep Donald Trump from winning Utah, Will that be a success for you? Look, we're in this to win. We're in this to push this debate into a different direction, to make it something that's, that's broader and more accessible to Americans, and to not just be in the two lanes that we've got right now of Hillary Clinton's campaign, be, people voting against Donald Trump from her side, and on, on the Republican side, people voting against Hillary Clinton. We want to give people something to vote for. We want to give people something to aspire to. We want to show that somebody who's come out of 10 years of public service as a CIA undercover officer fighting in the worst possible places in this country against terror and who's willing to sacrifice his life for that is now willing to go out and offer himself up to the country as a public servant. And it's a different kind of thing. It's not a professional career politician. It's not the same old, same old. But let's talk business. Zero, sure. zero to 100 percent chance that you get on the ballot in all 50 states. Listen, I, I'm not an expert on ballot access, but I've hired all of them, and we're going to work our saying? tails off. We're going to work our chance. tails off. All right, Rick, great to see you. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. It. Appreciate it.